flash and spread now i come in with my uh, pepper right away so i'm going to rule my line my starting line okay that is where the center front is going to be for my slash and spread so i'll just come in with my pepper so actually i'm going to cut it out completely so but this uh, the spreading will not be too much i'm not going to spread too much so let me turn my pepper like this so I'm actually going to cut it out and I'll spread like two, two inches and still have the gathers. So I'll come in with my adhesive. So coming in with my adhesive, I'm going to cut out completely so it looks uh, uniform. So the first one I'll cut and I'll spread. So this is the part of food. Okay, so after another two inches, it all depends on you anyway. After another one, I'll spread. At intervals. So you need a line here also. Let me mark out a line here that will guide the placing of your slash lines. So I'll come in with the first one. I'll just place my adhesive at the back of it. So you can just place this, the slash as well on, on your fabric, okay? You must not do it on paper. Once you cut, you can pretend having this as your fabric and use your pins to hold them down and cut, okay? So I'll just... So as you are working on this dress, you need to be patient. If you want to get them exactly, it's not uh, a, uh, one you cut on fabric directly. You need to follow this principle. So you can see the slashing and spreading, you have to if you are taking two inches, do two inches. If you are doing three, do three inches. Okay, so it has to be equal. So I come in with the last one. Can you see? So by doing this, I've added my gathers to my the upper part. So by the time I gather and bring back the upper part, I have exactly what we have on the thumbnail. So I'll just cut on the hem. Note that this is the floor level. So when you are slashing and spreading, make sure you write the part that is up on the paper so you don't mix it up. So this is what we have for our slash and spread. So by the time I come in with my upper pattern, so the upper pattern, I'll just cut center front line and I'm going to cut neckline, okay? So I know why I left this border line. I'll use it to match front and back together. So once you have slash and spread, all you do is to go to your machine. This is on fold. Make a notch for center front, uh, midpoint. Gather, 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 gather. Once you gather, and it matches up it gives you that what you are seeing in the thumbnail okay so this is it now so i'll now come in with my front pattern this is the front pattern so the front pattern uh, by right is supposed to be like this okay so you know we drafted but once you put it on fabric 
this the neckline is a continuation of this so i'll just make my i want to use this for my merging of the both together so the fabric you are cutting you are cutting it together as i'm knitting it up so i'll just kiss it making sure the line aligns can you see so that is what you are going to place on your fabric and cut so this is going to be the part on the center front line so you are going to cut here on fold exactly like this is how you are going to place your pattern add your seam allowances add your zipper allowance add your neckline and on this part you have to place your fabric on fold all right so this is how you are going to cut your pattern so you will be placing your fabric on fold okay so if you place your fabric on fold it's going it's going to align on fold with this so this button allowance you can make a uh, uh, join and make a placket but with what we have here this button allowance uh, will not work with an allowance because this part is going to be on fold so everything here will be on fold but once you want to sew you just tear open this part and face it bring out your buttons as you can see on the thumbnail there you can use a, a loop button to sew it okay the way placing it on fold you can see if you are cutting a whole of this it has to be on fold you add your necessary seam allowance but you have to cut open this part and attach back your uh, your button allowance okay so you can just sew back and sew off depending on the kind of button you want to make all right so that is how we come to the end of this tutorial okay so the uh, this part will be like this will be sewn and gathered like this and remember this is going to be on fold as well okay it's going to be on fold so by the time you open everything and sew and join the sides you have what you have on the thumbnail all right so that is how we come to the end of this tutorial and i believe we learned a lot once again so your gathers are going on here okay so if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends. Drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Okay, so thank you for coming and see you in the next one.